Hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, as I promised in a previous video, when I come up with an accessory that's significant for my new Sony ZV E1 camera, I was going to at least show it uh, through a quick video. Well, we'll see how quick this one turns out to be, but I bought a key accessory for this. And the reason I did it is if I put on my Sigma 24 to 70 lens on this, it can get pretty heavy. And though my knee were, tripod that my Panasonic that's filming this does pretty good. It's really not heavy duty. So what I decided to do was buy a heavy duty tripod. Now one that got a lot of good recommendations out there was the small rig. Now this is a heavy duty <laughs> tripod to say the least. I still have it in a box. I didn't even open it up. So I'm going to open this thing up. We'll see what it looks like and uh, I'll attach my camera to it. So let me uh, get something to open up this uh, box with. Well, it's got a nice strong case it looks like with it. Whoa. Oh, it's got a nice carry case to it. It's a small rig on it. And what I'll do is I'll open this up and we'll see what's inside. Okay. Get this on the table here. It's got double zippers. That's always a good thing. So as we open this thing up, it's inside of a plastic bag right now. I'll be removing that once I get it out of here. And it's quite chunky, <laughs> to say the least. I'll put the bag on the side for now. And we'll have to be careful and open this guy up. It's got one of those uh, twist wraps on it. Now, I'm not sure if I'll be doing much outdoor shooting with this, but it's possible. It all depends what I'm trying to cover in a particular video. It's got a nice little cover protecting the fluid head. That's part of this. Let me see. It's got a pull strap to it, so we can loosen that up and get the head protector off. Oh, it's got a nice cushioned pad in here. So that's pretty good for traveling. A really big head to it. Now, I don't see the arm, so let the arm must still be in the package. Yes, it is. There's a separate uh, zipper compartment inside. And we have some accessories. Get it all out of here and we'll look at it. Okay, now I can put this aside. So we got the arm, that's what I was looking for. Nice strong aluminum arm with a nice rubber grip to it. Real rubber, feels like it to me anyway. And it looks like it has some instructions and I'm not sure if that's, there's some tools in here, some Allen wrenches and what looks like a clamp to clamp things together that I, I guess I'll read the instructions and see what that does. Well, let me extend it a little bit first. I understand all you have to do to extend this is throw these little levers here and it will extend. I guess I could extend it from the top first. Let me try that because there's at the top, it's got three sections to it. So that's a nice strong triple barrel section here. Latch that into place. The same thing for this one. Latch that into place. And then one more. Latch that into place. Let's take a look at the bottom before I do anything else to it. It's got nice rubber feet and uh, they bend into position so you can get them to adjust to whatever landscape you have. If you're on uneven ground, for example, in the room here, it's pretty even. So I'll just keep them straight. <laughs> but let's see now if I extend this out, what do we have? Oh, you got to take off some latches. That's what that is. It's a spare latch. So it has these latches that hold the legs together. Three of them plastic latches. That's why they give you an extra, I would guess. Oh, it's got a crossbar support. So as you extend this out, you have a nice crossbar to keep it nice and level. What I don't see here is anything for sandbags. So that's, uh, that's going to be an interesting uh, thing. It's pretty hefty though. I mean, this thing has got to weigh at least all together with the head, at least six pounds. So it's not a light object. All aluminum it feels like, except for some plastic sections here, which look like they're not cheap plastic at all. This is very strong from what it, from what it shows here. Yeah. Stand up here. 
Let's see, I believe the head can remove by removing this center piece. There we go. Nice rubber grip here. So that's the entire head that comes off of it. It's supposed to be fairly easy to take off and put back on, but this allows you to get the, the balance. You can balance the camera onto this. That's what the main reason is for this one. So let's put this in, put it back in again. Again, there's no sandbag thing on here, although you can probably connect it to the upper part of the legs. I'll have to test that out. You can go sideways and quite a bit, probably about 20 degrees, forward, backs, left or right. Okay, it looks like this is the front here. So you would take this and it looks like it comes off this way. So we loosen this up and then we should be able to take this and push it to the side and the top comes right off the camera support. So let me put the camera on here. It doesn't have the little flip latch, so you're going to need to use uh, either the Allen wrench or a quarter, you know, the way that most people do it. So that's one thing to consider on that. But let me just get it on here temporarily. I'm not planning on leaving it temp permanent. So I think that's right. Let's see. Is the orientation right? Let's see if we can get it back in again. There's an arrow on top here. I don't see one on the plate itself, so if I tip it in and throw this little latch, it should just lock in place, right? Yep, and then I would tighten it up with this little lever right here. Okay. Now I don't have it locked into the holder right now. I didn't use a quarter to do it. I could go ahead and, uh, and do that if I wanted to, but I just wanted to make sure that it fit okay. I'll go get my lens and put it on this and see how it, uh, the, the Sigma lens in a moment, and we'll see how it all fits together. But it seems, let's see, let's get this, the arm on. Looks like the arm goes on this side here. It's got a standard quarter by 20 screw that holds that there. Let's see, it's got little locking places to it, okay. So we should be able to go like this. Let me turn it sideways, go like this. Oh, I didn't lock this other thing in place yet. So let me lock the, uh, the center part in place. Got to undo this though, in order to give it some relief. There we go, nice smooth. And then the side, the other, go the other direction, you have to loosen this one up. There we go. Okay, let me go get my other lens and then we'll try that and see how it looks. Okay, got my lens on here now. My Sigma 24 to 70. Let's see if we can get this guy on here. Locked in place. I get it center balance a little bit, so I'm gonna go like this. There we go. I'm gonna have to give it a little bit of tension. And there we go. Take the lens cap off. Okay, how does that look? Let's see if I go up and down, nice and smooth. Okay, this looks pretty good, huh? Okay. If I turn the camera on, what do I get? And there we go. Well, just looking at the green screen with that, so. Come around, you can see what the, the room looks like in the uh, lens here. if I try zooming in like this I'm looking at my other camera and then I can actually focus in on that a little bit if I wanted to okay oh it's on autofocus I could turn it on manual focus and do that if I wanted to there I don't know if you can see that I'll try to blow it up in the screen here but that's the manual focus okay so this should be a good one. This thing actually rises much higher than I need it to ever rise up. It's pretty high right now up to the center of my chest, but I didn't even lower the lower legs yet. So if I lift this up and uh, let me get, let me get the camera off of here first. <laughs> that would be a safer thing to do. Loosen that, lift that, tilt it out. And there's my camera and lens combination. 
So if I take this and I raise it up, I can actually drop the lower legs here. And it looks like it goes quite high. I think it's like seven foot long here. If you just loosen the clamps on the bottom, they sort of just drop out of place right down to the floor. So if I just take this and I just drop it, they drop right out. And there we go. This has got to be, let me see, um, 5'11". So that brings me up to here. So I'd say it's about 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, Total height to the bottom of the camera. So even higher with the camera in place. So this is my new tripod. I'm never going to use it at this height, I don't think. It's unlikely that I'll have a use case for that. But I do like the fact that I can have that option.